The objective of this lesson is to be able to make a chart like this one which has clustered columns and stacked columns at the same time. And basically what this chart shows, it shows me the sales for group 1, group 2 and group 3 which are those three bars if you can see them. And it shows me this by quarter. At the same time, out of each group, it will show me the sales of a major category. So how to do this? We will go to another Excel sheet with the raw data. As you can see, I have the data for group one, group two, and group three. And I have the data for major category one, two, and three. I'll just do this so you can see it better. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a chart. So I'm gonna select my data, I'll go to insert, and I'll insert a bar chart. If you see this chart, it will have everything here. It will have Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and it will have my other categories, etc. But what I want actually, if you see this one, is to have Q1, Q2, Q3, to Q4 at the bottom, right? So how do I do this? I just select it, and then I do select data, I click on switch row and columns. And here you go, you get Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and then my major categories as legend. Second of all, if you see, I have major categories, one, two, and three as bars, and I don't want them. I want them to be in front of those bars. So what do I do? I will select my chart, right click, do change chart type, go to combo, and then in combo, I'll start doing changes. So if you see this, I have some lines. I don't want them. I want to have just clustered columns. Then for each major category, which is part of a group, I'm going to click secondary axis. Once I do this, if you see on top, those bars will be on top of each other because each ones are in a different axis. So I say, okay, and I get this. If you see the legend for this axis or the maximum point of this axis is 800 here and here 200. And I can't have this because otherwise my data will show incorrectly. I want the same 800 for both of them. So how do I do this? I'm going to create a number here equal max and I select all the data that I have. I have 757 which is my number and it could be anything based on the data. But what I want to do is add this to a chart, hide it, and then automatically my grid lines will adjust to the maximum number. So I won't have a problem there. So how do I do this? I just click on the chart. I just select data. And this is a small trick, you know, that you can do in Excel. Then you say series name. I'm going to say max num. And I'm going to select it, click on it, and say OK. So if you see, I got an additional bar. I want to do the same because one max number will be for this axis and one max number will be for this axis. So let's add it again. We right click, select data, add max num, and then we click, we select the number and we are okay. If you see, you have max num and max num two times. Right click on the chart, I'll do chart type, I go to the combo, and here I have my max number, both of them. So one is for one axis, secondary axis, the other one is for the other axis. And I don't want cluster columns. I'm gonna choose anything, lines, because it only have one data point. So it will never draw a line. And I say, okay, I get back my normal bars, and then you can see I have 800 and 800 in both places, which is amazing. I'm going to delete those numbers, so I click on my legend and I click delete, I click on my legend and I click delete, there you go. Next, I'm going to start doing formatting. To do formatting, I first get rid of the axis, so I click on it, press delete on the keyboard, and I'm going to do the same for all the elements that I don't like. I don't like also those grid lines, I'm going to get rid of them. For chart title, we can write sales comparison by quarter and then you can select this you can format it by doing bold for example to make it a bit nicer next those colors are horrible so I'm gonna try to improve it a little bit I'm gonna right click on one series and do format series 
then I'm gonna try to select some nice colors. So I'm gonna start with the big bars first. First big bar, I'm gonna select this blue. Second big bar, I'm gonna click and select an orange. Third big bar, I'm gonna click and select gray. Next, I want to fix those. So I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna select the same blue, but then I go more colors and then I select something like this that is a bit more light. So if I do this, I get this as a lighter color. I do the same for the orange. I click, click, select my orange, then more colors, and then I select something that is a bit lighter. Then for the gray, we can actually do a little bit more even here. So it's just like, you know, based on your taste and design, you can do this. Then next one, the gray one, same thing. I go here, select my gray, and then I'm going to select something lighter. For example, I can select this gray. Next, I'm going to start adding data labels. So I'm going to click on each one and then I can go here. I can say, so we click here, go here, say data labels, same for each one of them. And I'll do the same for the small bars. So now I got all my data labels. Those data labels, I want to make them bold, to make them more noticeable. So I'm just gonna click on them, do bold, I click, I do bold. Those ones are up and I don't want it. I want to move them in the middle. So I'm gonna click on them, I go here and then I have a position. So I can do, for example, inside. I'll do the same for this one. I'll do inside, I can do also inside base, etc. So you can play with this and I have them inside. Next, if you see, I'm going to make the chart a little bit bigger because this doesn't fit very well. So if I make them bigger, it's better. And then I can even change the format of all this. Here we have some decimals, so I can go to numbers and then I can say, for example, zero. It will take me to number and then I can do, for example, use 1000 separator. He will not going to use it. Decimal places zero and then I'm going to say, okay, add. So here you go. You can see that this has adjusted. I can do the same thing here. I go to number. I can change the format that I want. So I can even go here. I can do number and you have the code here. Decimal places zero and then you do add. And then I can go here, I click here, number, then I do decimal zero, I do add, and then I got rid of this. Next, if you see this one, it would be nicer to have a white color for the font. So we change it to white, it's easier to read. And then we can also do something with the widths because they are a little bit far. So again, it's just some formatting thing. So I have gap width. I can do this. So I'm going to make it, let's say, 114. And then I have to click my other series. And I'm going to change it to 114. So you do it two times. One time for the big ones and one time for the small ones. Lastly, we can click on this and get rid of this fill and border to make it nicer. And here we go. We have a chart that looks nice, that shows me the data that I want and can automatically update with the data that I get.